Welcome back to the show. Joining us now is head coach Jeff Tedford. Congratulations on a victory over Arizona State homecoming weekend, national championship weekend. Uh, this was a big game in the, in the scheme of things. I know you take one game at a time, but in the big scheme of things, this was against a good football team coming off a bye that said they wanted to run the ball and you would not let them run it. Yeah, it was, it was a big win for us. Uh, really proud of the team. Uh, defensively, I thought we played excellent. I, I thought we denied the run, put pressure on the passer, and the secondary played very well, came up with turnovers. Uh, really, really pleased. Defensively, uh, Cameron Jordan, uh, pleased to announce, is the Pac-10 Defensive Player of the Week. Eight tackles, a couple of sacks, three tackles for a loss, and a partridge in a pear tree, I think, is about <laughs> the only thing missing in that one. Uh, obviously, he had something to prove uh, going up against his uh, home state team uh, just down the road from Chandler. He had a terrific game. He did. I, I thought he was very physical on the run. Uh, really did a nice job of pursuing, uh, chasing down Rudy Carpenter a couple times, uh, made a lot of big plays, and uh, it was great to see him play like that. Last year he scooped up a, a fumble and scored with it. This year he had another big game, so we just hope he can repeat it against U of A. One of the other keys I thought in the first half when you established that early lead was field position. A lot of that due to Brian Anger, and he was named the Pac-10 Special Teams Player of the Week as he averaged over 47 yards a punt, including his best punt of his young career, 70 yards. Yeah, I, I thought it was critical for field position. Uh, there's no doubt. The game, you know, when it was close there in the second half, we were backed up. We had some poor field position a little bit. We were playing a little bit safe so we didn't turn the football over. And I think he made the play of the game. He, he punted the ball 72, 71, 72 yards down inside the five-yard line. And that created them in the situation of having to be safe with the ball a little bit. And so they can't run their full offense, that, you know, that type of thing. So it does does a lot of things for you when you have a weapon like Brian. Offensively, uh, one of the keys this year, one of the trends, I guess I should say, has been a bit of a slow start. But in this game, your team got off to a good offensive start, uh, Nate uh, replacing Kevin Riley, and, and you jumped on it quickly. Yeah, um, took the first uh, the first possession, took it right down the field. Like to get a touchdown, but got a field goal there. And I thought the key in the game was when we came up with a couple turnovers, we scored on them. Mm -hmm. We had one turnover in the game, um, but the two times we got the ball from them, we put 14 points on the board, and that seemed to be the difference in the game. There were a couple of the key stretches late in the game where they had good field position. They were down. You know, 24 to 14, they needed two scores, but they had good field position out around midfield, and your defense uh, just would not give an inch at that point in time. Yeah, I thought they did a great job. They pressured the passer, uh, knocked the ball loose from, from Carpenter once, uh, forced him out of the pocket, and he threw one up down there, and, and Sean Catus dropped back in there and got a nice interception. And so uh, I thought they played really well. Uh, not only stopping the run, like I said, I thought our backers played great. I thought we rallied to the football very well. And then the secondary, I thought they tackled really well mm -hmm. and then made huge plays on the football. Sid Thompson made great uh, tip balls, deflections, uh, one in the end zone that would have been a big play. And then Sean Katus again came over and knocked one free in the end zone. So I thought all in all, uh, in the front end, at the linebackers and in the secondary, they did a really nice job. You know, in some regards, tackling is like officiating that you don't really kind of pay that close attention until you miss a couple, okay? But your team, especially Darian Hagan, has really come on in that regard, I think, as of late. Uh, teams are trying to get to the outside, and after that Maryland game, he shored things up and making really solid tackles. Yeah, I think it was really evident that after the Maryland game, we didn't play well. Uh, a lot of people say it was the early morning, all that kind of stuff. That, that's just an excuse. We just didn't play well. And so we took the bye week uh, and really made it productive. Worked hard on our tackling, on our run fits, on pursuit of our safeties, of our corners making tackles. And I, I really believe that it, it really helped them that week. And, and they've bought into it. I think they're seeing they're having some success with it. And so we're going to continue to work on it. We, we can't just think it's just going to happen. We have to continue to drill it in practice. And I have a lot of confidence that if we do that, that we will continue to be good tacklers. Well, you get an extra week to work on that kind of stuff because there's a bye week this week. When we come back, we'll preview the next game, what could be a showdown of the only two undefeated teams in the Pac-10. Certainly they are as we speak today. Today, Arizona and Cal will have that when we come back. All right, after uh, two weeks of conference play, there's only two undefeated teams in conference action. Happens to be California and Arizona. Those two teams will meet. Of course, Arizona this week has a, a tough game on the road against the Stanford Cardinal. But Arizona, probably a little bit of a surprise in that it appears that they've kind of got things going right now. Willie Tua Thomas having a great start to the season. Mike Thomas is a phenomenal receiver. And their defense 
which struggled last year, has played very well so far this season. Yeah, it, it's not really surprising to me. I, we've always had really close games with them, competitive games, and, and they're a veteran squad. Anytime you have a, a senior quarterback like Willie Tuatama, he can throw all the balls. Uh, they have an excellent offensive line. They have a running game with Grigsby. He's doing a great job. Mike Thomas, as you mentioned, is a big play guy. Uh, he can get deep on you. He can catch the intermediate passes, and, and he's really good with the ball in his hands. And then their defense is always solid. So it's no surprise, and, and any time we've gone to, to, to their stadium, we've always struggled a little bit, and so we're going to have to play our best. The other guy that's really stepped up this year and is, is an absolute force, even though he missed a game or two with an illness, is Rob Gronkowski, their tight end. Uh, we've seen his brother in action back at Maryland, but this guy's got five touchdown passes, and it really gives them kind of that triple threat. They have the running back, the wide receiver in Thomas, and now they have that tight end that can make plays in the middle of the field. Yeah, they're, they're very balanced. And, you know, before they really couldn't establish the run, so they were really one-dimensional. Well, they have a physical offensive line, so they can run the football. Their tight end is a good line of scrimmage guy. Uh, and also, he can get down the field. He can get vertical on you, and he's a big target. He's mm -hmm. six foot seven or something like that he's a big guy and he can really catch and he can run and so they're very balanced and they're very tough to defend any difference in your approach during this bye week than you had a couple of weeks ago after the loss at maryland uh, just a little bit. Uh, on Tuesday, we're just going to go in shells. We're a little bit banged up. We're going to work on some fundamentals that day, but really try to stay up. And then on Wednesday, we're going to get after it and be uh, real physical on that day. And then Thursday, we're going to have some fundamentals and let the young guys scrimmage. So a little bit of difference on Tuesday, but besides that, you know, pretty much the same. Still hoping to have job at best for the game down in Tucson? Yeah, he's coming along. He ran today, went out and ran, and had a little bit of soreness. And we'll see how he progresses through the week. But a lot of positive signs leading toward that he'll be ready to go. All right. Well, good luck uh, next week. Have a, a good practice this week. I know you'll be recruiting as well. So uh, the Bears are getting ready to take on Arizona in two weeks. That'll be a heck of a ball game. You'll be able to watch that game on Comcast Sportsnet.